I want to show you a project I'm working on today. Uh, this is an overflow for a, uh, a sump on my aquarium. The, uh, I originally set my, I, I made a homemade one, and I'll show you that here a little bit later, of a uh, homemade overflow using these little drawers that uh, uh, you do and uh, make a sump out of that. But uh, I'll show that part to you a little bit later here. But I want to show you here today, the, they make a, uh, they have an overflow system that you use PCV pipe. I've been using it and I find them a little problematic. Sometimes they, the siphon doesn't start again and uh, you have to mess around to get it started. And I have a, a commercial sump with an overflow box that works very well. And so I've been thinking about how to make one. Now this is a smaller 20 gallon setup. Uh, so this is sized, you could probably find this parts to make it for a bigger uh, sump. But I'm going to show you how I made, uh, made this uh, uh, sump out. Alright, to start out, what I did, this is, I was at Walmart, and these are spaghetti boxes. You can see they have a little lid on the top there, they're kind of a long spot. They're not very big, again we're making a sump for a 20 gallon. Now, I don't know if I'm step by step doing this, if it's big enough or not, but we'll find out. And uh, so the uh, first thing, they're, they're too tall and we're going to need something to hang over the side. So what I've done here is I have taken that sump here, or that spaghetti box, and I cut this much of the top off right here. And then I end up with a piece of square and I cut the bottom of it. So I need a way to hang this over the tank. So what I'll be doing is I'm going to be gluing this to here. And this part will hang over. And then this will have a sl slot in there where you can adjust the inside box inside the tank up and down. And so I'll uh, use this to glue it up and this will be my hangover. For, not like a hangover I'm and that's a drop <laughs> but anyways that will hang over the inside all right here's the uh, finished overflow box I made uh, I haven't tested it yet but uh, from the looks of it I think it's gonna work fine what I've done is I showed you earlier the uh, uh, pasta keeper that I got at Walmart uh, right now I have three dollars but I've got a few other pieces I haven't added up but I have very little in it uh, these running 50, 60, 70 dollars if you can find them online. Um, I've used this type box here. If uh, if you look, uh, it's adjustable. This is adjustable up and down. So this would be, give you the flow of your water. This is the uh, um, part that sets inside the uh, aquarium. And then I took a siren iron and perforated a whole bunch of small holes for it to flow inside um, the box um, so this way fish can't get caught into it and then I took I was trying to figure out how I was going to make the hangover all I did is cut a piece of this off and this gave me my U for my hangover and that way it'll hang right over top of the tank and then the, the uh, see this here at the bottom so that this is just a little adjustment this screw here will come in and out to level the thing out uh, against the back of your tank and then this is just uh, I'll use a pipe right down into my sump from here on it I used a um, uh, this is actually an electrical conduit connector and I got a big o-ring and the top of it is just another part of PCV that screwed on top of that and uh, that fit in and, and it uh, I checked it with the water it seems to not be leaking or nothing and then the overflow uh, I just used some uh, one inch uh, PCV pipe made my overflow uh, tube onto that so we got to test it out there but uh, overall uh, I think uh, it's going to uh, uh, work out pretty good uh, I'll figure out more after I do some more testing here there but uh, this is my prototype uh, I've been thinking about how I can make my own overflow and you don't find anything I've looked and looked on YouTube to find someone that had a little uh, plan 
And so I came up with this. I uh, just happened to see this thing in the store today and grabbed it. And uh, we'll see if it works or not. Uh, testing to be followed. Mm -hmm.